Howdy guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video of Mutiny Pirate Survival. How we doing? Hope you guys are well. So today what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the southern islands over here in part of our series where I'm going to go through each and every island and show you how I would conquer them using the, I guess, the island correctness of uh, weapons, armor, heals, things of that nature. So that way you guys can see that it is achievable to uh, conquer these islands in mutiny and you don't have to use the utmost um, powerful of weapons and all that sort of stuff okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to focus on these two islands here we're going to focus on the horned and the iron island so with that out of the way we're going to head over to the iron island first they're both at level 80 so they're not going to make any difference of which one we do so it's just basically what we are wanting to do so I feel like I just want to go over to the Iron Island first. So in the namesake, as it presents itself, you're going to find iron in this island. You are going to have some chances in finding meteor ore as well. And that's very important for the manufacturing of steel. So um, that is why we are going to be over here today. Now, if we head over this way, I did notice that there was a bit of a cluster of, um, of iron over here. So... I would most definitely try and crouch your way through like I do in every pretty much every single um, zone that I've been into uh, so far in this uh, little series that we've done. Why is it important? Well, it allows you to get by things like animals and hopefully uh, pirates as well in the like. So let's see if we can just try and sort of weed our way through and get to a stage where we're pretty much further away without any sort of um, I guess raising awareness to any sort of the, um, I guess the, uh, the, the local, the local people in this or local animals. So we should be able to, um, quite com comfortably, uh, extract all this as well without rousing suspicion, which is fantastic. As you can see here, I'm actually doing quite well. Oop, I didn't really want to tame you, but that was not part of the plan, unfortunately. So I might have to actually either back out of this or possibly um, find an exit. Oh, we got some meteor. Okay, we're going to have to do this. See if I can actually extract this without raising suspicion. This, this is what I really wanted to come for as well. Trying to get our chance of getting... Um, this that type of resource it's not common unfortunately and it's really hard to come by so i would much rather um pick up all of this as we sort of go along so yeah i'm actually quite glad that we went down this way uh not so glad the fact that i actually tamed an animal you can if you want it is um it is quite perfectly fine for you to do that but um for me i sort of try and um i guess um shy away from that only because that I can um, I can sort of maneuver around without having to crouch all the time because right now obviously I'm doing a lot of crouching Oop. okay so we, we've got an NPC here the moment that he engages if he does no, which he doesn't which is great um, we shall leave said island so let's just go ahead and do that okay cool <coughs> excuse me as you can see my um, my tamed animal was about to uh, take on that pirate there okay so the reason why i don't like using those animals there is i can quite easily um basically maneuver my way around and you know what to be perfectly fair i've gotten to a point now that i've got a bit of spirit behind me so i should be able to go through um a lot of large parts of this um island without getting interrupted with um with animals so i just want to see who we've got over here we've got a seasons pirate over here so if I just, yep, yeah, pop my head up, so he's fine. He's not going to um, attack me, which is great. Which gives me the flexibility to, um, you know, do little things like this and just pick up, um, you know, little loot bags and things like that. So I'm, I'm happy to sort of try and, uh, uh, you know, take, oh, geez, here we go. Uh, take advantage of the, of the fact. So I did, bring, I did bring some extra armor with me. That's in the boat. Um, I am using a broken down version of... What I've got here, which I actually picked up in the previous video, um, on on this little uh, let's play kind of um, style of um, video formatting. But yeah, um, let's see if we can 
maneuver our way over this way. I just want to see what's over here. So yeah, so it's not actually a full strength um, bit of kit. So I'm just going to you know use it for what it's worth and just make sure I get the most out of it. All right, so this could pose a problem. So I would have to engage somewhere. So these are just only um, seasoned robbers. So if I do get found, I should be fine in dispatching them. But there we go. These guys aren't that tough anyway as it is. So two shots and they're gone anyway as it is. Okay, and there we go without being tackled. Which is good. All right, let's just open up or break down this and um, move on to the next part of this little island. Okay, who did we have over here? I can't even remember. Um, who's up on the radar? Well, you're too far away for the detection point. I think if the hair moves away enough, I should be able to see who it is. Um, honestly, let's just eat that. And I'm nearly at max capacity as it is. Oh, there we go. First engagement. That's okay. Boom. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty easy. All right, let's move on. Um, let's see what this part of the island has in store for me. Okay, so remember, like I said, it depends on how far you want to go with this. I don't think I can... Um, go around this part here but let's just have a quick look anyway oop oop okay we got everyone coming after us so better heal up as I'm gonna get taken out a little bit okay all right Mr. Season Robber you need to go bye bye and Mr. Season Pirate you need to do the same there we go all right so a bit of a Bit of a kamikaze, if you will, of things, but that's okay. So we should be able to get through here. And, you know, incidentally, we got ourselves a bit of a, a loot chest that we can open up. So let's just go ahead and do that, right? Okay. Oop, who have we got here? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Wow. I didn't even realize that would have happened. That was going to happen to me. And as you can see, I lost quite a bit of stuff there. So with that, this does happen, unfortunately. So there's not much else you can do about that. So in a way, it's good that it's been shown because um, at least, you know, you guys get to see how it happens in the real world. So not expecting that was gonna happen, but what can you do? What can you do? Uh, what, what do I wanna do? I want to make use of my foundry here and let's just get the extra bit of uh, steel, which is good. Just eat all of that. Um, honestly, with this, I can just make one of those, and that's it. And cool. Okay. So even though now that's obviously reset there, um, I'm not gonna. If I go back there, I'm obviously gonna restart the whole thing. So if I do that, which I can, I can do anyway. We can we can do another we can do another crack at it. Unfortunately, that's what's going to happen. Okay, so when you do go to these, uh, sorry, these southern islands, as I like to call them, the enemies are a little bit more um, attack-minded, and the fact that I had a um, a wild animal running at me, I was in a situation where I had to be crouching at all times without raising detection. That obviously f uh, fell by the wayside, and I got attacked. So it is what it is. So I'm not going to spend too much time unless if I find some meteorite here. Um, that's probably going to be the only thing I'm going to harvest at the moment, just to sort of keep this a little bit more compressed. So we're just going to do that. But let's just continue on our way through and see if we can um, get by without minimal with minimal detection, of course, which I don't think it's going to happen here. But I think this is the edge of the map of this portion here. So I don't think I need to go any further than this, but. I, I hope you guys sort of get the idea with what I'm sort of trying to achieve here. So let's just go over this way and let's see if we can go on this side. And I should be able to get by without dete being detected. That's good. Let's continue on. Um, okay, beautiful. We've got some more meteorite over here. So I am happy to take that. 
thank you very much so this is like I said this is really hard to come by and I do believe um, this has been reduced in um, in updates that have um, that have happened so and that goes for all t5 stuff as well so I feel like they're hopefully the developers are getting ready to make um, t5 centric uh, islands so we can get more of this resource but um, that remains to be seen at the moment so that, uh, that's probably another discussion for a different video but anyway the most part here we're getting through the island um, so far we haven't been detected we haven't been oh, I stand corrected we've just been detected so that's okay there we go more of the easier parts to sort of dispatch I guess even though I got tagged once but that's okay it's uh it's manageable and then we've got one of these guys here that we're gonna have to potentially deal with but hopefully we don't need to like I said I am on the um, oh here we go here we go let's um, just quickly heal up because this fella here frost uh, I'll make frost here wants the duel so there we go and you can get tier 4 weapons okay so that's a thing and it's also good if you get some of these weapons too and I only say that only because that oh more me meteorite perfect 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 okay okay so this has been good this has been really good so with regards to um, picking up those tier 4 weapons right especially if you haven't got the means to make them yourself obviously the Iron Island is going to be the gateway of making these weapons for you so um, that is how this all sort of works right so you sort of got to make it um, in a way that once you sort of do certain islands it, it's going to unlock certain provisions for you so the Iron Island is going to give you everything to do with um, with iron weaponry um, clothing to some extent as well so that sort of stuff oh here we go so get Mr. Season Pirate here. Um, oh, we just got tagged a little bit, but that's okay. You should be able to take him out. And you've got minimal stuff that I'm not interested in. Okay, so going back to it. So once you've got that luxury of um, making, you know, all these uh, good uh, things, then this should, oh, oh here we go. Exper experience Pirate alert, okay. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit dicey, and it's always good too, because if you are in a, in a situation where you need to run, um, at least it sort of exposes more of the map, and it allows you to, um, you know, get by and get yourself out, providing that you don't die, of course. So, uh, there's obviously that. But uh, what I was sort of getting at, uh, once you've unlocked these certain criteriums, uh, you'll be able to, um, you know, obviously make more um you know more items as you go along so in this sort of instance you can basically go back to the fact that you can make um t4 weaponry and all that sort of stuff clothing all that sort of stuff right so keep that in the back of your mind because that's obviously obviously something that um, allows you to do certain things but on the offset of that if you can't get through or complete these islands now that, that's an experience part there in the far right uh, which we just sort of had a quick little tangle of. Now I think that's connected to where I was coming from before, so I don't think there was going to be any meteorite right there for me. So I think we're just going to leave that aside. I think I would have been found out with this um, Varan as well, just um, just sort of putting it out there. Even though that I've got the spirit count for it, um, I should be able to get by no problem. That's just a normal seasoned pirate there. Just got to be careful and not push my luck, but I think there was a meteorite right there, which I do want to... Um, investigate and I just can't see it unfortunately and I don't think I'm going to have that ability so with that being said I'm just going to make a run for it and get myself out um, but yeah I'm sort of trying to get my point across as I'm sort of talking to you guys and I'm sort of trying to move about in these islands here but let's go ahead and head over to here so <coughs> excuse me once you have conquered this island like I said tier 4 is available for pretty much everything you can still get by by using tier 3 stuff I, I guess that's the point I'm trying to make but once you get through to these parts here then it just unlocks everything and then it obviously makes life just that little bit easier oh geez I'm actually down on on food and reserves and stuff like that I should have picked a, a few things up 
But um, we, we come here now to the, um, uh, sorry, to the um, Fanged Island, right? So while we're here, this island, um, well, it actually has a lot going for it in terms of um, resource and, and offering. So you've got a lot of um, animals, okay, as you can see, a lot of the, uh, the passive animals, as I like to sort of call them. Uh, you are going to find heels, you are going to find linen and all that sort of stuff. So that is all part of the deal, right? Um, so all the deers are going to give you the fine, um, the fine leather, I believe it's called. Because I think the perfect hide is the, um, is the next tier after that. So you will find the ability to get perfect hide here. And I definitely want to show you guys that as well. So I think I might switch over to the elegant rifle as well. Just as I'm thinking about that. But let's just get uh, some of this Verburner here. So you do get um, access to a lot of this here. So um, I would definitely recommend and try and do some farming trips here just to sort of go back and forth. Um, just to sort of give you that option and ability. So let's just quickly do this just to keep my guy happy, I guess, in a sense. Um, all right, beautiful. And let us go over this way. So if you do take out a lot of these animals, you are going to be able to make the next tier of, um, just got to be careful with you. You're going to, you are going to be able to make the next tier of, uh, clothing. Okay. So the iron Island and, um, and the Fang Island here is going to give you that a lock and accessibility, right? Uh, sorry, the horn Island. What am I saying? The Fang Island. Anyway, roast me in the comments, guys. Uh, so the horn Island, right? So, I just wanted to get rid of the NPC player. All right, so let's go ahead and just take out one of these deers, and I'll, I'll let you know what I mean by this. So they are going to attack you, so you're just going to have to be mindful of that, but you're going to get a lot of this, okay? So the fine hide is what you guys are after. Um, you can get an abundance of this, and this is going to give you the ability to make the fine leather, which I highly recommend. So you find that the Botswine um, clothing isn't going to be enough for you. So I would yeah, definitely look at this as, um, I guess, the next destination in order for you to um, yeah, obtain uh, these selected uh, items. But you can get through this island fairly, fairly quickly. As you can see, I'm pretty much, pretty much gone through here <laughs> quite quickly. Who have we got here? We've got two ferocious uh, ocelots. So I definitely want to sort of try and navigate my way away from these fellas. And I think I'm thankful in a way that these guys are all pointing the right way for me to make my way around, which is great. But you are getting a lot of um, hemp. Oh, Jesus. And you get one of these. You get these fellas coming at you as well. So you just got to be careful. Um, all right. Dealt with him. Okay, I guess. Okay, curse captain. Let's get out. <laughs> Anytime you see the curse captain, guys, you you got You got to you got to shake and bake. You got to get out of there. And if you guys know that reference to that movie, then hats off to you guys. Um. All right. So if we head up here, I'm hoping to find a um, a buffalo or a bull. I believe I believe they're called. I think they they're bulls. So you get a lot of deer. Deer's are everywhere. Here's a bull. That's who you want to get, right? And if you do, if you do shoot one of these fellas in proximity of other animals, you will get others that will come after you as well. So you just got to, you know, you got to be mindful of that. But yes, there's the perfect or superior hide they call it now. I, I, I thought in a, in a time they called it perfect hide, but anyway, superior hide. So that's your tier five hide. So the more that you um you dispatch those bulls, the more that you get out of those. So you can actually conjure up a quite a bit of that. So I guess that's something that you guys can actually, um, you know, um, take advantage of. So yeah, but I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go through here with you guys. So hopefully you found this a little bit more informative and, you know, a little bit more in depth as to how I would do these things and approach these things. But you find that this island is quite easy to navigate. There's not a lot of um, tricky rocks and things like that that you have to sort of negotiate. So everything, everyone's pretty static. So you can get by without real engagement of any sort of pirate here. But for the most part, the animals are probably going to be the thing that's going to sort of, um, you know, I guess, prevent you from 
getting from A to B in a sense, but you can definitely do it. You can definitely take a lot of these deers out as well and get that um, tier four uh, hide in order for you to make those tier four clothing. There, there's another bull, so let's just go ahead and shoot you. Now he should come over to me, <coughs> excuse me, which is fantastic. And oh, here we go. This is where it can get a little bit dicey, so you just gotta be careful. There we go, if you're not watching what you're doing, you can suffer the consequences. So let's just go ahead and take that. Um, I'll just eat that and take that. There we go, we've got 11 of that, which is fantastic. So yeah, hopefully you guys um, got some good tips out of this one here. Like I said, as I, as I always do, crouching is your best friend. If you're gonna be able to crouch, you're gonna be able to navigate yourself yourself around and you, that will allow you to um, maneuver through a lot of these islands. I have made it a little bit more difficult now, granted, um, and I get the reason for that to, I guess, offer more engagement. Um, so yeah, there's that. They have up the difficulty, which sort of goes in hand now, the reason that I've done these uh, this series, to sort of help you guys a little bit further along in your adventure. So hopefully you got something out of that. Um, but yeah, full playlist will be in my, one of the cards. So you'll be able to pop, um, jump into that and go from the start up until now. We are going to focus on the two pirate camps in the next two videos. I'm going to set those for one video a piece and, um, and I'll show you how I'll tackle those as well. All right, guys, that's it for me. So I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out this video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, share if you can. And if you guys are new to the channel or not, and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. All guys, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.